New on prime time. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says a newer strain of the H5N1 bird flu has infected a herd of dairy cows in Nevada. While this new strain has been widespread amongst wild birds, this is the first it's been detected in cows. The strain is not the same as the one that's circulating in other dairy herds and infecting other animals such as cats and poultry. Scientists are searching for ways to contain the virus. And University of Pittsburgh and National Institutes of Health researchers just shared promising results from their study on a groundbreaking antibody treatment that prevented severe bird flu in monkeys. As bird flu concerns soar, there's a new hope for prevention. It's called MEDI 8852. It's one of a class of broadly neutralizing antibodies, which means that it's able to neutralize all sorts of types of influenza in the dish. Dr. Simon Barrett Boys, professor of infectious diseases and microbiology at the University of Pittsburgh, says the preventative antibody treatment performed beautifully in warding off severe infections in the monkeys. From the H5N1 avian flu that's circulating to wild birds, poultry, cats, and cattle. We found that uh, animals that received an irrelevant antibody suffered from severe disease and pneumonia and fatality. But animals that received MEDI 8852 had negligible respiratory problems and was protected from severe disease. We can actually protect these animals from severe pneumonia, which is which is which hasn't really been achieved before. Influenza viruses have the ability to mutate. What we really don't want to see happen is that the avian influenzas are able to transmit from human to human readily. Bear Boy says the antibody they used and others like it are very good at crossing and protecting against different strains. That would be effective against uh, really unknown influenza viruses at the moment and avian influenza and probably others that develop. So what does this mean for humans? Given the, given the similarities between monkeys and humans and the nature of the disease in those two, it really means that protection from an unforeseen influenza pandemic is achievable in humans. Bear Boy says the antibody has already passed safety tests in humans. He hopes their promising research published in science lays the groundwork for a universal flu vaccine. The ultimate goal really is to generate a vaccine that, that to, to have a vaccine that generates the same kind of antibody response so that people could get immunized repeatedly and have this antibody in them that they're making on their own.